Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. Hello everyone, my name is Ubaid and I'm from Dawa, Pakistan and I'm technical support engineer. Today we will talk about our new firmware release version for uh, NVR 4000-i and 5000-i. There are some super cool function added and I want to demonstrate you today. First of all, first function is uh, related to facial recognition. First of all, log in the screen and I will ask one person to stand in front of camera. Now I have freeze the frame. This is very super cool features in our live view. We can freeze the frame and search by image from this uh, whole picture. So if I select this picture and select OK, it will search by image this face in our storage database of uh, channel D2. So it will find out all the result match with this picture. So it's very convenient and very super cool function added in our live preview facial recognition. So we can search anyone, stranger, any strange guy. And let me try again. And we are selecting this time a new face. We can uh, make the face and then search and select the date, time, whatever you want. And then it will start searching the image from the database of storage. So it's very convenient and super cool. Now, if you are uh, go, to, uh, if you will go to playback, you can see the same function is added in playback also. You can uh, just if you are watching some uh, targeted uh, incident video, you can just uh, select any face from the uh, video, and it will freeze the frame same, and you can choose the uh, face, and it will search by image into your storage database of face face recognition system so it's very fast and very cool function added in our new base baseline firmware and now i will talk about another function before what happened is that for database from live view we can add or i we can use to uh, usb to add database and we can click here add to database and we can add the database but it was like time taking to, to add one by one so now we, what we have done is that go to face detection results ai search result for face detection for one channel let me ch show you click channel and uh, search and now you can add from any picture from this uh, storage also to the database directly so this is also a newly added function in this firmware Another cool function is that we can see two screens. One is HDMI, one is VJ. But normally what happens is if we, uh, we see in normal condition, it will show you the replica image on the VJ, VJ and HDMI. So VJ, now we have added one function to simultaneously view different cameras on two screens in this uh, new baseline. We have to go to display and uh, just enable the uh, sub-screen option. And then let me uh, change the source again to VG. Here we go. So now what happened is that VJ is also showing another display. So it's now sub screen, like same as dual HDMI function we have in our high end models. So if I want to change the mouse, now also I can change some settings like make splits on the second screen separately. If I want to switch back the a mouse I will just uh, right click and uh, the mouse will be uh, again transferred you can see one HDMI one VJ is connected so we can view both uh, screens simultaneously with different cameras and cool part is that we can choose uh, mouse on both screens so it's, it's newly added function and very cool function so th that is uh, all for today Thank you very much for listening and if you have any question you can ask me. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.